So we're still in Scotland because we didn't want to go home yet. <laughs> never leaving. And we're in Edinburgh and we're in Edinburgh at the end of the Fringe Festival. And we're in Edinburgh at the end of the Fringe Festival early on a Sunday morning and there's nobody around because everybody's got a hangover. <laughs> Except us. Vastly different from yesterday nice where you couldn't get a square inch to walk in, could you? And we're up this morning because who are we going to go and see? British Michael Rosen. Rosen. I don't think I know who that is, but these two are very excited about it. So the book festival is also on, and Jack said, oh, wouldn't it be great? Or somebody said, wouldn't it be great if we go see Michael Rosen? I did a quick search, and there were tickets available, and we're going to go see Michael Rosen this morning. Apparently, that's a brilliant thing. It is a brilliant thing. <laughs> Don't you remember little bunny Fufu? That was Michael Rosen? Yeah. Oh, that was genius. We're bonking people on the head. Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> that was crazy. Bunny okay. Fufu. He's right. actually quite a lot. This is going to be good then. But first of all, we've got to get some breakfast. We're going on a bear hunt. So we, we, we got back from seeing Michael Rosen, and how was that? That was awesome, okay. we met the legend himself, that and we got awesome. signed books too, that's cool. Breathing! No breathing. <laughs> and then we've been around Edinburgh, and we've been looking at this, that, and the other, and... So we've, we've been in Scotland for a few weeks and we're basically on our way home we just nicked an extra two or three, well two and a bit days in Edinburgh. Um, so before we got here we went, what did we do? We, we, we were... Well, we fed were reindeers. Fed reindeers. Fed reindeers on the Cairngorm, so wildish reindeers from our hands. Tickled not just cows, tickled Highland cows, tickled bulls, massive he's bulls. A ton, he weighs a yeah. ton, Andy, doesn't he? And he's beautiful, yeah. and he's the softest animal in the and world. Yeah, just... and his, his brother, Doogie, the other one, he yeah. sings yeah, for really, breakfast. He does breakfast his breakfast song. song. He's got a breakfast song. Yeah. 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 So cute. And that way his little stereo is lovely. Little boy. Oh my little boy. Who wants to tickle him? The it biggest is, yeah, that, this, this, this does happen. The other, um, Kim, just, how does it smell? Alright, like you, <laughs> like you. You've been pouring stuff over yourself, haven't you? Eh? Haven't you? Haven't you? Is that nice? You're coming this way, I'm going backwards the other way. How do we get... <laughs> Uh, we went and found a waterfall, didn't we? So there's we a waterfall just up the road from where we were staying. We had a good look at it because there had been a nice bit of rain. And it was beautiful and I hope that it freezes up this winter. It, it doesn't always come we into condition we... every year.
it freezes, we'll pop back up and maybe climb up that because that would be awesome. Beautiful thing to climb. We went geocaching. We found what four trackables? Yeah, yeah. four trackables. We did a bit more geocaching. We found what? Yeah, four trackables. We, we found a suitable place for my trackable, though, did we? Not Jack, yet, but we want to put that by the sea somewhere. Jack made ducks cross to the co-op. Yeah. Yeah. And the lock, there were those ducks, like, uh, like 20 ducks. ducks. They oh, thought we had that. some food because they're ducks, but we didn't have food. So, you know, we I made our way up from the lock up the path back to the town where there's a co-op. And little did we know, we had a squadron of ducks following us. And they crossed the road. That took me 10 seconds. Well I think they think we've got food. I think. Dad. How do you not see it? Hey. It's that big. It's him. And we've Only spent, two. some of we've spent ages trying to find red squirrels and we've seen loads of this year, yeah. which is nice. Yeah. Including ones with white bushy. Yeah, there's a regional variant of red squirrel in the Cambrons. It looks like they're like, you know, uh, YouTube teenager squirrels because they've dyed their tails blonde. Yeah, punk squirrels. Yeah, yeah punk squirrels. Did mountain biking, you went oh, straight yes. through a carbon fiber free. Good job. Yeah, there's a mountain bike, yeah, place just around the corner. Wolf tracks. Annabelle did a nice green route, had a little noodle. I did a couple of the red routes, and it was all nice until it wasn't so nice anymore. Just had a little teeny weeny tumble. Got the usual, you know, scrapes and that's bruises scrape, and that yeah, sort of scratch. thing. Nothing major, but.
Yeah, I smashed my mountain, my carbon fiber mountain roof. <laughs> yeah, you sure. On a rock. Uh -oh. oh, that's gonna be sad. So that was an expensive oh, trip. Expensive. What day. else did we do? Um, Mum fell over. I fell down steps. Oh, that's okay. I've got a bruise. It's just nearly gone now, though. Basically, well, mum and dad have fallen over and hurt themselves loads, and like the animal, which is a bit funny. Because we do more. Oh. So we're, we're done with Scotland. Tonight's our last night in Scotland. We're definitely going south of the border tomorrow. Tomorrow's a bank holiday. It's going to take us seven or eight hours to drive home if the traffic's okay. It's going to take us longer if the traffic's rubbish. We'll be back yeah. in Wales tomorrow night, and then uh, I'm back in work on Tuesday. Yeah, I can have a rest. Oh. Uh, and then I fancy going rock climbing next weekend if it's. Uh, mm. And then the children have got dry. the rest of this week. Well, we've got to drop all those trackables off around Wales. Yeah, right? you want know, like five trackables. Oh, mm -hmm. Right, see you next week. Tired. As usual.